Hey, I'm gonna give you a quick video tour of the 2000 Harley Lightning truck. Check it out. It is a 2000 model, Harley Davidson Edition F-150. I think the build number is 4119 or 4019, something like that. Anyway, um, it's an all original truck. There's no rust, never been wrecked, never been raced. It's got fresh paint. And it's a good paint job. We did it properly. We took all of the trim off, took the windows out, through the, took the bed off, did it properly, all the side plates, all that stuff. And you can see by the reflection, it's got a nice gloss to it. So it's a nice paint job, and it's a, it's a good paint job. Headlights are original. They're slightly cloudy, but they've been sanded and clear coated. I've got new fog lights installed. It is the original glass on the inside. I've never had an issue with a headliner. It's the original headliner. We've got an LED bulb in the dome light. All of the plastic panels have been thoroughly cleaned, properly prepped, and chemically resurfaced and refinished the right way, not just rattle can stuff. We did it with the proper SEM products, the soaps, the adhesion promoters, and it's a permanent repair. Rear seat has never been damaged. It's in perfect condition. Brand new carpet. Threshold plates have been resurfaced. Driver's seat lower. You can tell it's brand new. I replaced that. They're available online. The upper was in decent shape and it's still got the cool Harley logos repaired one place on the bolster here, but it sits nice, the foam is in good shape. Passenger seat has never been a problem. Dash is not cracked. The steering wheel was custom wrapped by Mike Regula, and it's a custom leather wrapped OE steering wheel. Feels great in your hands. They just deteriorate over time. So this one's been redone. All the work, all the switches work, cruise control, blah, blah, blah. All, everything works in this truck. Center console used to house a big um, CD changer from the factory. It's long gone, doesn't work, never did work. We've got a single din aftermarket JVC head unit. I've got kicker audio, you can't see them, speakers in all four doors. And it sounds good. It's not a rockin' concert sound system, but it's a good sounding system. Uh, this is an aftermarket boost gauge, which tells a little bit of a clue to what's under the hood. In 2000, Harley-Davidson trucks did not have a supercharger. Later on, they changed to a blown engine. This came from the factory with a naturally aspirated 5.4 liter Triton engine. About two years in, I drove a buddy's Lightning and I fell in love with the performance. So I found an O2 Lightning drivetrain, complete drivetrain, out of a very low mileage uh, show truck. And got the engine, transmission, and rear axle installed into my truck. So it is literally an O2 Lightning drivetrain. From there, I worked with Ford Performance Magazine, did two stories on first the engine swap, how to properly do that and then a bolt-on and calibration. So we've got things like idler pulleys, it's a four pound lower pulley, got the SCT Big Air MAF, high performance filter, CNL intake, stock blower, little bigger injectors and really good Axel coil packs. It's a nice performance package. What you can't see from here, maybe a little, we've got Dynatrack stainless steel long tube headers. That's a $2,500 set of headers into a brand new Flowmaster correct stainless steel exhaust system that comes out just like the Harley truck behind the passenger side rear wheel. You can see a little bit of water spots, sorry about that. Magnaflow branded, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's, it sounds good, I'll fire it up in a second. I've sprayed in a Raptor color tinted bed liner into the bed. There's a couple little things, there's some scars on the plastic. It's not perfect. I'm not claiming that it's perfect. I use it as a truck for a long time. It gets halfway decent gas mileage if you keep your foot out of it, but if you romp on it, it will absolutely jump up and perform. 
it's about 500 horse of the crank you've got it calibrated to a pump gas tune door jar is the only light on it that's a cold start you can tell by the temperature gauge it's it says 309 728,000 miles. 309,000 on the odometer. The rest of the truck's been completely overhauled several times over. 60,000 miles on the supercharged engine. I'll shut up so you can listen. There are no engine noises. It presents well. I've detailed and cleaned it up. Painted the bottom side of the hood. It's just in nice condition. When I painted it, the hood was off of it, so I sprayed the jams properly. The grill was out. Bumper was off and disassembled. Everything's been done properly. The original wheels are not perfect. They show a little bit of curb scar. That's just from driving it. I used this as my daily transportation for many years and drove it, drove it a lot. I put a, I put the miles on it. I got this thing at 39,000 miles and it's been a wonderful vehicle for me. I am selling it. That's what this video is for. Whoever gets it is gonna get a really nice truck. Here's another detail. These side steps, you can get replacements. I think you can even still get them from Ford. But I've gone through the steps of properly refinishing all the plastic side steps to where it looks like it's brand new. Polished the tail lights, they didn't need anything else. It's got stock right, I think it's lowered an inch on the back. Put a new bed bolt kit in it, complete with clips. There's no shakes, there's no rattles. It sits in the road nice. It's got a really nice finish on it. And it's a solid, excellent vehicle. There's about 60,000 miles on a major overhaul with the engine. It's got the PI heads on it with extra thread lens on the cylinder heads. You lightning guys know what that means. The original cylinder heads had two threads and they were famous for popping out under boost. I replaced the cylinder heads complete with head studs. There's a full write up on what was done with the overhaul timing chain. All the stuff was done and it was done properly. This was my truck, this is my baby. Now it's gonna be somebody else's but I wanted you to see just a bit of a walk around what it is. It's just a nice truck. For pricing information, if you've got any other questions about this kind of amazing truck, um, let me know. I'm happy to answer your questions, and uh, yeah, have a beautiful Monday.